Hey Capricorn, so a message I was getting for you guys was someone is not being completely honest with you. Um, it could be in any situation at work or whatever, but someone is really not telling you the truth about something. Um, I was also getting there are going to be more opportunities coming in for you to bring in income. So also for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. Also. I don't know if I should wear my glasses or not. I kind of want to because they're part of my costume. But it makes everything really dark. So, it's okay. I think I'm wearing them anyway. Universe, what are the messages for the sign of Capricorn? Ooh, temperance card energy. So I see healing from some sort of situation. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But I definitely feel you're moving on or moving past the situation um, that has been bothering you for a while now. I do also want to thank my patrons and everyone that has subscribed to my second channel. The links to both of those will be down below. So we do have the Five of Swords and the Chariot cards. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Cancer or an Aquarius. But I'm definitely feeling... Um, someone's being shady straight up so it doesn't have to be in a love situation it could be but i really do feel someone is being shady why is the five of swords energy here it's almost like it feels like a selfish type of energy like someone is just willing to do or say anything that in order to benefit themselves emperor card energy this could be a boss or a supervisor a supervisor or something like that that you're dealing with that's doing this but do know somebody at work doesn't have your back and i do feel like we're talking about a work situation here they don't have your back so do uh, be aware and do be careful what you say to um this person what is the energy surrounding capricorn okay seven of pentacles and the four of swords i love this because it makes me feel that if you have been um, worried about finances or just worried about different things with the home, anything like that. I do see you being able to relax as far as that goes. So uh, that could be coming from these extra streams of income or extra opportunities coming in for you. But I kind of feel that going throughout the rest of the year, things are not going to be so chaotic or not as stressful as maybe they are right now. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Capricorn? Okay. So we do have the Hermit card, the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So I really feel a lot of you are just kind of um, distancing yourself right now or the advice could be to do just that at this time because it almost seems like I'm feeling like you're just getting back to yourself getting back to focusing on what is important to you um, your stability your finances or whatever that is for you your family children um, I do feel like that is your main focus or right now that is what should be your main focus at this time we do have the two of wands energy which makes me feel and I was getting this um, before I turned on the camera I almost feel that some of you are not seeing any more like someone anymore as a potential partner or a potential friend. It's like someone's true colors are coming out. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Why is it two of wands energy here? You're just seeing somebody differently or seeing someone um, for who they truly are. Why is it two of wands energy here with the seven of swords? Yeah, it's almost like you've caught someone in a lie. Or you feel like you've caught someone in a lie. It's like, oh, okay, this person is not um, as honest as I thought they were. This person is not like how I thought they were. So do know, um, moving forward, probably this month, you are going to see uh, someone's true colors. Like, and it's not going to be pretty. I really feel this person is like, um, like betrayed you in some way. Or maybe you see them betray someone else and you're just like, mm, maybe I shouldn't fuck with them no more. Um, definitely listen to that kind of intuitive feeling that you will get. We do have the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So for those of you that are waiting or are hoping to manifest love into your life, that is coming in for you. I see you having fun with someone, like going on dates, partying. And I do feel like this may turn into something more serious. Um, either you or this person definitely has their guard up a little bit, though. So I do feel like that could be um, maybe something that get, gets in your way of new love. Do be sure that you are uh, being open minded about like the new love coming in your life, of course, if you're just trying to protect your heart and all of that from maybe what's happened in the past, Ten of Swords energy, I definitely feel some of you have dealt with diff uh, difficult situations and relationships before. Do know that, I mean, of course, don't trust someone right off the bat, but do try to put your guard down a little bit when it comes to love to just kind of let um, new people in because I do feel that this person or just new people in general can feel when you have your guard up and things like that so it's almost like they think you're not interested 
um, in moving forward, so they don't really know how to move. So just do be aware of that when you are uh, meeting new people or dating or if you are opening up to dating. So I am getting the energy of a decision that you're not really sure um, to, is the right decision to make. You're not really sure what to do in a situation. Why is the Two of Swords energy here? Why is the Two of Swords energy here? Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are trying to find the strength to tell someone something or to leave a situation, maybe leave. It's almost like you're trying to get the courage to leave something, leave a job, leave a person, um, something like that. I do see you um, finding that courage. The fact that the Ten of Swords is here, something's coming to an end. Or the advice is for something to come to an end. Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? Okay. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, some of you are leaving, um, are wanting just new energy. Definitely could represent a new job here. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. It's like some of you want more. Also, do feel some of you want more out of a relationship, more passion, more love, um, just more energy. Maybe you feel like you're putting more into the relationship than maybe your partner is, if that's something that you are dealing with. But regardless, I see change coming in for you, a change in your relationship status or um, a change in your work or career. Because uh, it just seems like some of you have just had enough with this situation. I do feel some of you are just ready to move forward and stop dealing with this shit. Seven of Swords coming out again, like you're done dealing with this person or this situation. There's a liar somewhere in your energy and I will get more into the Seven of Swords. The fact that it came out twice is just confirming for me that someone is not being honest with you. And I do feel for some of you, this is um, a different situation. Could be someone at work for some of you. And for some of you, I definitely am getting it as your relationship. Why is the Seven of Swords energy here? Ooh, okay, yeah. The Emperor coming out again. It's a work, work situation. Like whatever your job is leading on to you, or if you have a coworker in particular that you're thinking of and you're just like, mm, I knew they were, I knew they weren't shit. Um, you're right. So do be aware. It's almost like, I mean, of course you want to do a good job and all of that, but it's almost like advice is not to waste your time anymore with this situation or this person. So um, that's the biggest advice here. Because I do feel like in some sort of love situation or even a work situation, you are wasting your time. And I am getting that a lot of you are pondering what you should do about the situation. Like, what decision do you make at this time? So I'm really, I'm going to pull some advice cards for you guys. But I'm really feeling advice is for one, to get away from this toxic situation. The devil, ace of swords, you are going to see very fucking clearly this person. Like, whoever it is for you in your life very clearly Ooh, they just told me someone's gonna have to move out too okay anyway but um yeah this energy it's time to get rid of it also the devil can represent self-sabotage so i do feel like it's very important for a lot of you if you are dealing with a situation like this to stop putting up with it because it's like yeah these people can be pieces of shit or whatever but at the end of the day it's about what you put up with so i do feel like that's also spirit's advice as well um, to really have that conversation with yourself, like, okay, do I need to distance myself? Do I need to look for new employment? Um, whatever. Death card energy. So advice for that, um, pretty much let it go. And I know it's hard, of course, if this has been a relationship or if you've worked here a long time or you're not really sure what you're going to do, it is a difficult decision, but it's the right decision to just stop this, whatever it is. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. Do comment down below what you think my costume is even though it's kind of obvious but anyway yeah anything that you need will be down below the link to my social media also the link to get a personal reading if you are interested i do hope that this reading was helpful for you and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day also do go check out my lashes at jayslashes.com thank you so much to everyone who has supported me they do go fast so do place your order soon